strike a weapons deal with Russia, which could be worth as much as $7 billion. The package will include the S-400, the latest generation of surface-to-air missiles that have only been in service for two years in Russia. The purchase is believed to be a U.S.-backed attempt to halt Russia's sales of an earlier version of the system, the S-300, to Iran. Some experts say that in return for the U.S. decision to scrap its missile defense shield in Europe, Moscow can revoke its agreement with Tehran. However, they fear it can damage Russia's reputation on the international arms market. Well, we're now joined in the studio by analyst Ruslan Vukov to discuss how the new deal may influence Russia's relations with Iran, Gulf countries and indeed the U.S. Thanks for joining us. Now, you said in one of your interviews, that, and I quote, the U.S. pressure is the stick and the huge Saudi arms package is the carrot for Russia. Can you expand on that at all? Well, we all know that Saudi Arabia is buying much more weapons than its need for its own security needs. Uh, that's why the majority of uh, specialists, uh, they agreed on the fact that Saudi Arabia is buying uh, under the coverage of weapons. In fact, it buys the security guarantees, mainly from the U.S. and Great Britain, but also from some other secondary kind of countries like France. And now it's time to Russia. It's not only because Russian weapon is deadly, simple and reliable, but it's also partly a carrot for Russians to be less involved in Iranians in arms trade. But it was difficult uh, under Bush administration because Bush uh, preferred only to press on Russia. Since Obama administration decided to engage Russia, they engage Russia in a different ways. On the, on the bilateral level, on the multilateral level, with NATO, and also they encourage Saudi Arabia to buy the package which was discussed already for two and a half years. So could this be leading to some kind of arms race in the Middle East? I don't think so, simply because there is an economical crisis and uh, mainly people, they reduce their defense budget uh, then they need to economize public funds. And the best example is the Obama administration's decision to cut uh, ballistic missile defense in Europe to cut F-22 uh, fifth generation aircraft. Many countries does it, apart from the oil rich countries like Saudi Arabia and some others, Bahrain, because they have very uh, big currency resources, even if the prices for oil went down. Now, some reports say that the conditions of the deal is that uh, Russia doesn't supply similar missiles to Iran. Now, how would that go down in Tehran? I don't think that uh, there is a direct linkage and uh, that this is a close of the agreement. But uh, probably there is a gentleman agreement between uh, Russia and the United States. And uh, Saudi Arabia is, uh, knows about such a gentleman agreement, uh, which partly reminds me of the previous uh, gentleman agreement, uh, Gor Chernomyrdin, about not to ship arms to Iran, which was concluded mid-90s between Russia and the United States. Will any of this affect Russia's reputation on the world stage uh, as, as a top arms supplier? Uh, yes, obviously, uh, such a bargaining and such counter-trade uh, can damage the reputation of Russia uh, as an independent uh, arms supplier which is not uh, tight by any political conditions. Uh, I think that uh, the authorities, if, if all what we discussed here is true, and it will be clear within the next several weeks, that the authorities, they realize the risks of such exchange. Okay, interesting stuff. Ruslan Pukov, thank you very much indeed for joining us here at RT.